Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Now, it's episode number 12 today, and um, unfortunately, we're gonna have to say goodbye to the. I don't even know what this is. But one thing I forgot to add on to the car are the number plates. And if you look, Yeetus. That is the number plate that we have for this car. It is absolutely amazing. Um, so if we look at the car's status. As you can see, absolutely everything is 100%. And because of that, we get ourselves a 10k restoration bonus. Um, the engine itself, I don't know how much horsepower that has, but it definitely has extra horsepower. So, um, let's take one last look. We got that nice engine that we built over the past few episodes. And it is absolutely stunning, right? Um, then got the trunk, the back. If we look at that amazing suspension. They've even left the sticker on the fuel tank. But, we are going to have to say goodbye to it. I don't want to do this. Ah, it hurts to press the button. Oh, I got to press it again. Bye bye. 67th. Oh, I got an achievement for sale. Renovate and sell a car. And that got me so much money. Um, I want to go to the junkyard, but I feel like the cars will be a little too damaged. And we'll have a lot of parts to look for. So I want to go to a barn. Because that way we can just replace most of the parts. In fact, replace all the parts, really. Um, I don't know how you unlock the auction house, though. Right, so since recording the last clip, it's been about a week. Maybe a week and a half. Um, oh my god, this is different. It's been a while since I've been on this game, so... Oh, okay, so apparently there is the customization. Hang on. Okay, I'm actually going to customize this quickly. I want these. Actually, should I have red tiles for mechanic? Yes. We'll go for that for now, and then we'll do some more stuff later. But, I know what we actually went out to look for is a Mazda. So, I am going to keep going to the junkyard. And see if we can find one. Right, so I am at the auction house. And we have found a Mazda RX-3. Um, it has a rotary engine. And it's in fairly good condition. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some bids for it. And then what I'm also going to do is look for an RX-7. Come on, give me the car. Give me the car. I want it. Yes. We got the car. And we don't want that. Go back to the garage. Right, so I am currently on my Smurf account, second account, whatever you guys call it. And we have found two Mazdas. We've got ourselves the RX-7 here. Both of these were bought from the auction house, which is why I needed to go on my second account. Um, so if you look, it's not too bad condition. I mean, there's definitely a lot to 
check up on. The engine doesn't look great. Radiator and the fuel tank. But other than that, that's pretty good. This one, I think the exterior is perfect. But underneath is where it gets bad. Like the steering looks like it's going... One thing I like about this engine though, look how weird it looks. It looks odd. So, um, I need to get the... I think I'm going to do the RX-3 first. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take the engine out. We're going to take the whole car apart pretty much today. And then we're going to rebuild certain things. We take the headlights out. Front bumper off. Gosh, that car looks really evil when it's got everything off of it. So we take the fenders off. Front left door, front window. I'm literally taking absolutely everything out. Oh, so we've got a bench seat in the back that we can do with the interior. Bench seat. It looks like the steering wheel is in really bad condition, so that would be good to replace that. Um, first of all, we need to take the gearbox out so that we can get the engine crane over. Move to... Ah, uh, lift it A. Uh, lift the car up again. Right, let's take this drive shaft off. Why can't I take the gearbox off? As uh, starter. It's got a V8 starter in it. Interesting. God, <laughs> look at that engine. So I think that is ready to come out. So if I... Ah, I need to drain the oil first. There we go. And use equipment. Mm. Okay, there was no oil in it in the first place. Okay, we actually have to unmount the front exhaust section in this game for this car. Ah, it's because it's bolted in, that's why. Um, is there anything else that looks bolted in that needs to be taken out? I don't think so. And there we go, engine is gone. Take a look, take the battery out. Uh, we can take the brake servo out. Radiators. Um, and then if we lift the car, we should... Do we need to take the fuel tank out from the back? Here. Okay, we take the fuel pump out there, but we have to take the fuel tank out on the lifter. It's very much typical car, really. 
Are they drum brakes or disc brakes? They are drum brakes on the back. Uh, oh, we got to take the brake shoes off first. There we go. Go leaf spring plate. We'll take that away. Why well, can't I take the leaf springs out? Ah, rubber bushings. Get rid of these. And then we can take the leaf spring out. Nice. Right, shock absorber is out. Uh, take all these brakes out again. I'm guessing this car probably has front drum brakes as well. These U-bolts are really fiddly to take out. Right, small rubber bushings again. And we're out. Shock absorber B and the leaf spring rear axle is out. Um, this rear muffler is from a V8 engine. Interesting choice. This doesn't have a catalytic converter though in it. So the front ones are ventilated disc brakes. Uh, axle knuckle. Lower suspension arm. I think that is everything I could take out from here. Uh, I should be able to take these out. Rubber bushing. This bottom bit should come out. Cross member. And now if we take off the... It says sports tyres. That's really odd. Brake pads are looking very worn out. Uh, wheel hub bearings come out. Uh, tie rod. Sway bar links. And then the front shock absorbers can come out. And that is it, completely disassembled. Hmm. I think I'm going to reassemble the front end now. 
Maybe the rear end. I might do the rear end. Um, so what we need... I want to see. Can I just repair everything? Hmm. I wonder how much did I actually save out of that? 100%? Oh, that's good. Uh, shock absorbers didn't get saved. We actually saved quite a lot of parts then. Uh, rubber bushings, I guess. Yeah. So, we need four rubber bushings. Small ones. Uh, main shop. Rubber bushings. That's an engine. It's suspension we need three four of them and I'll buy a load of them as well How did we manage to f fix the brake shoes then? Uh, okay, so we need drum covers for the brakes. Let's mount that on there. Uh, we also need... What shock absorber is that? Rear shock absorber B. Uh, let's get you. And a fuel tank as well. Rear shock absorber B and... Fuel tank. Where is fuel tank? Fuel tank. There we go. Uh, rubber bushings. Rubber bushings are so annoying in this game. Uh, break drum and then the wheels are ready to go back on right I am back uh, fuel tank I think we were on uh, let's fit that in rear shock absorbers uh, we got another rear shock absorber here and I think that's it done um Hmm. Let's have a quick look at the engine. That 
That is weird. Right, well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.